Create a new JavaScript module. Magento 2 uses require.js as a tool to define the module structure. However, in addition to require.js, Magento 2 also has its own unique way to execute JavaScript code. You'll see this in the example we're using. We will develop a very simple JavaScript module that only provides the greeting, hello world. It will illustrate how Magento 2 works with JavaScript files, executing the code and passing parameters inside of the script. The steps we'll need to take are, one, create a new module, two, create a require.js config.js and a JavaScript module file, three, create a layout update to add a template that will enable the JavaScript module, four, create a template file, five, add the module and test it. Let's go through each step. One, create a new module. We will create a new module called learning.js. Now create two files, registration.php and Etsy module XML. Step two, create a require.js config.js and a JavaScript module file. Next, we'll create a view folder. Add the file view frontend require.js config.js. Then add a JavaScript module. And finally add the file frontendweb.js hello.js. Step three, create a layout update to add a template that will enable the JavaScript module. First, we need to create the layout folder. And then add the file catalog underscore product underscore view dot XML. Step four, create a template file. Now we'll create the template that will enable the JavaScript. In the templates directory, add the file hello.phtml. This code enables our module. It may look a little strange to those who have used require.js before. As mentioned earlier, Magento 2 has its own unique process for executing JavaScript code. One way is to use the data mage init attribute which takes a JSON object as a parameter, as can be seen in this example. Each key of that object corresponds to the module and the value is a config. In this case, the JavaScript module should return a function with two parameters, config and element. Again, this can be seen in our example. Other popular options for executing JavaScript code in Magento 2 include applying the same configuration to multiple DOM elements, or when the JavaScript is not related to any DOM nodes, using an asterisk instead of a CSS selector. Step five, add a module and test it. Finally, let's add our module and test the results. Now we'll go to any product page and we should see the hello world message.